Hi guys, Redneck Garage back again. I know in the last video we talked about two stroke oils and how to mix. You guys remember these sheets right here? These. I'm not using those today. Um, I just happened to see uh, people talking on online about people putting two stroke oil in their cars to help their valve seals and stuff keep from drying out and you know just overall wear because of the gas here in the US has ethanol in it and ethanol is dry it makes the gas very dry which can cause uh, stuck rings and stuff I mean um, for those of you that are mechanics like myself we've seen where somebody's car they went out to start it and it wouldn't run they bring it to the shop and you do a compression test on it and it's down in the 30s even the 50s or whatever it's just not up in the hundreds where it should be a lot of times people mistake that for it to have a junk motor or uh, they think it's a screwed up valve or, or whatever, stuck open or broken valve spring or whatever, keeping the valve open so there's no compression. While that may be true, <clears throat> but most of the cases that I've seen were stuck piston rings. And it can definitely happen if you leave your car sit a lot. Even if you're leaving your car sit, you should start it up, let it run half hour, 45 minutes, at least once a week, at least. You should actually drive your car. Because if you don't, your brakes are going to rust up, all kinds of stuff's going to happen. Well, it, one way to check that scenario is put some uh, engine oil or something down in the cylinder head, crank it over a little bit, and then a little bit more in and then do a compression test if your compression is coming up that means you had a stuck ring and a lot of times you can get that compression to come back up over a hundred if not close and then that engine will run just fine for many thousands of more miles and it's all thanks to the crappy fuel we have here in the United States I don't know what it's like anywhere else but I'm going to tell you how you can keep that from happening. And one way is two cycle engine oil in your gas because it will lubricate your gas, which in return will actually make your fuel pump last longer because it's getting lubricated also. Uh, your injectors are getting lubricated. You know, those things are moving. They got little seals and stuff in them. There's multiple parts in a fuel system of an engine that could benefit from having a little bit of lubrication in the fuel. And it starts at the fuel pump. Also, you've seen uh, engines with sticky gas gauges. Well, guess what? A float inside there gets stuck after so many times up and down, up and down, and all around. A little bit of two cycle oil can help that out. And you're not putting a lot in. You're not mixing it the 50 to one, 32 to one. You don't need all that because your engine has its own oil that'll help lubricate the rings and help lubricate everything else, all the other moving components in the engine, the crankshaft, the camshaft, the valves, all that stuff. But when you add dry mix, dry gas to the mix, it doesn't help. Let it fuel back in the day helps lubricate stuff, okay? We're gonna talk about how to mix it. You wanna mix a 500 to one, to a 600 to 1 ratio which if you're doing it by gallons I'm not gonna figure it out 
in the other way. Okay, we're gonna do ounces. <clears throat> we're not gonna do metric, okay? Sorry about your luck. Give it the program here, okay? We know, you know. Um, we're gonna mix 501 to 601. You could even do 401. It ain't gonna hurt the car any. The more oil you put in, the more it's gonna smoke. But if you if you go so up there and range that you're 500, 601, you're not even gonna notice any smoke at all. Your exhaust might smell a little differently because two-stroke oil is you know gonna make it smell a little bit, but it ain't gonna smoke. It ain't gonna hurt the engine. None of that mamma jamma. So what you want to figure out is how much is 600 to 1. 600 to 1 is 0 0.22 ounces. So you're talking right around a quarter of an ounce. I myself use a baby bottle. I always have. You know why? They're durable. They can't get smashed. They have a lid plus a nipple. So if you're crying, you know, here you go. You can put some juice in there and suck on it. Um, anyway, I use a baby bottle simply because it does ounces and it does milliliters. But I use ounces. So that's roughly a quarter of an ounce. Roughly. Not on the dot. Roughly. Like I said here. We're not sending a space shuttle into outer space, okay? We don't need to be exact. You're just helping out your fuel. You want to do a quarter of an ounce. You could even do a half an ounce. You could do an ounce. You could do two ounces if you wanted to. It don't matter. It ain't going to hurt anything. All it's going to do is help lubricate your rings. It's going to help your fuel pump last longer. It's going to help your injectors last longer. Keep your inject injectors clean and from sticking. Two-stroke oil helps clean. Another thing, it's even been told that you get better fuel economy by adding two-stroke oil to your vehicle. And let me tell you why, okay? Your cars have these things called oxygen sensors and they're in the catalytic converter, okay? And the hotter the oxygen sensor gets, the richer your car will run to cool that off. Because if it gets hot, that means your car is running lean. Okay? Two-stroke oil, it helps cool the combustion chamber off. So in turn, you're going to have a cooler running engine. Your engine is going to idle a lot smoother. And I don't care what anybody says. I run a little bit of two-cycle engine oil in everything I have. On the exception of my side-by-side, -side, but that's only because it's under warranty and I don't want to do anything that may void my five-year warranty. Okay? But after that, guess what? I'm going to go to using this. Now, I don't think they can void my warranty, but same time, you know how companies are. They like to slide out of everything. So, my brand new mower, I two stroke oil in it, okay? Go kart, my kid's go kart, two stroke oil in it. Now, I don't really run two stroke oil in my vehicles. I just, I have, it's just not something that you always remember when you're at the pump. Hey, uh, dummy. At ten gallons of gas, we need to sit here and calculate how much oil to throw in. I mean, you could pre-mix it, and then when you know you're getting down, you know that you always add 10, 15 gallons to your tank, you can mix it and then go to the gas station, pour it in, and then pump your gas. That's fine and dandy if you want to, but I'm just telling you that it will help your engine last longer. It will help your car run better. It will help it idle a lot smoother and it will help it run cooler. And in return, engines always run better cooler. If you don't believe me, ask race, race guys, race car guys, okay? They will tell you, the cooler their engine runs, the better it performs. And I'll tell you why. Why does your engine get hot? 
Friction. Friction makes it get hot. That's why we have to cool them. This will keep friction down in the top end. And always run good oil in your car. Always do your oil change. I know some of these new cars say you can go 10,000 miles on an oil change. I don't care. I'm sorry, but engine oil gets dirty fast. I change all my oils in every car at 3,000 miles. I change all my oils and all my toys at 200 miles, unless I'm excessively running them, then every so many hours, I'll just say 20 hours, 30 hours maybe, I'll change them, okay? Just keep your oil clean. It don't cost that much, unless you got a Porsche or something, or a BMW that has to have a $100 oil change. But in the toys in your lawnmower, five bucks will change your oil. I mean, even if you don't change the damn filter every time, change the oil. You ain't gotta change your uh, oil filter on your mower three times a season. Change it once a season, it'll be fine. They're an automotive grade filter, most of them anyway. They'll be just fine. Me personally, I change all my stuff every time I change the oil. But I'm just telling you, if you're worried about cost, go grab you a $5 quart or a $3 quart or a $2 quart of oil, some decent oil. Don't get the dollar store stuff because your engine's gonna be shit. Back to the two stroke. It's gonna help keep your rings from sticking, which means you'll have good compression. Good compression equals horsepower. Technically, more compression equals torque. But we won't get into that. You're just driving your car to McDonald's because who knows if you got a job or not. But anyway, mix a little bit. Even if you don't know, just if you're putting 10 gallons in, put five ounces in. It'll be fine. It ain't gonna hurt. You ain't gotta do the exact science. But it's gonna help make all the mechanicals last a lot longer on your car. Like I said, the injectors, the rings, the valve seals, because it's gonna, as, well, just, yeah, valve seals and stuff, it'll help with your rings, all of it, and it'll make your car run cooler, which in turn will make that oxygen sensor lean your car out. When you lean it out, that means you use less fuel, okay? When you use less fuel, you get more MPGs, all right? I don't know if it's proven. I've never seen it done on Mythbusters, but if you're thinking logically and scientifically like me, it probably works. You might only gain a quarter of a mile to a gallon. You might gain five miles to a gallon. Some people say that they've went up a whole six or seven miles per gallon by adding two-stroke engine oil to their vehicle. Whether it's true or not, I don't know. But I do know a lot of diesel guys swear by two-cycle engine oil in their engines. It's oil, it's gonna burn. It's good oil. And you wanna buy the ashless oil. The best bet for you to do is buy synthetic oil. You don't have to, I don't, but I try to buy the TCW3 oil and I get it at Walmart for $10 or $11 a gallon. Now, if you're just using it in your car, it's gonna last you forever. Unless you're a gas ass. Me, I put gas in my truck once a week. I put $20 in. It usually gets me about nine, 10 gallons or so. If I threw in five ounces, I don't know how many ounces are in a gallon, but if I threw in five ounces, that thing's gonna last me for months. And my truck's gonna run smoother and that. And I actually thought about when I fuel up tomorrow, throwing some in just to see if I do get a smoother idle on my truck, because it idles a little 
but I also use cheap gas. When I put premium in, it idles nice and smooth, and it runs way better, and I get better miles per gallon. It tows better, and you just really notice a difference. So that's another thing I recommend is running premium, but you don't have to, especially if you're a gas ass. Just get some, you know, regular old 89, 90, whatever, and put some two cycle oil in it, and you'll notice a difference in your car. I promise you. I notice a difference on how my uh, toys run when I use that. So that's what I wanted to talk to you guys about today. If you have any uh, questions, comment below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my videos. I have another video coming. I don't know if it'll be this week or next week or next year. I don't know. Probably, probably in a couple days. Um, I got mower here that we got to diagnose. All I did was back it off the trailer. Don't run. Don't move. Nothing. So we're going to dig into it. I got my, my battery charging. And then uh, we're going to clean the carpetrator on it. And see how well that goes. I also got a new heater for the garage that turned itself off I don't know why I have no idea that's weird it's back on now I don't know it's a brand new heater I just got it today I don't know maybe I bumped it when I was messing with the camera that's probably what it was but yeah Anyway, 601, 501, like I said, for every gallon, about a quarter of an ounce. So for four gallons, you're going to use one ounce of oil. For two gallon, yeah, for four gallons, one ounce of oil. For eight gallons, two ounces of oil. So forth, so forth, so forth. Okay? It's not rocket science. You're not going to burn anything up. And just to show you, then I run two cycle oil in my toys. I'm just going to show you. I can't really show you in the go-kart, but in my lawn tractor here. See the color of the fuel? Yeah. It's two cycle engine oil. I mix it a little strong in there, but that's just because I wanted to. Okay, so just so as you know, I'm not bullshitting ya. You know, you're not gonna hurt your vehicle, okay? Many people's been doing it for years and years and years. And the reason why you wanna mix so high is so you don't get carbon buildup. But when you buy the ashless oil, you really ain't gotta worry about it unless you're mixing it like 32 to one or something. But just mix it up 500, 600 to one, a little lower, anything above 100, I would say, you'd be good. You're not gonna have much carbon build up. It's gonna burn off nice and clean. Your car's not even gonna smoke. Nobody's even gonna know you got it in there. All right? So, yeah. Me, I'm burning that one a little strong, but because the engine's breaking in and stuff, I just, something I like to do. And you know what? I personally, out of every small engine that I've owned. I have never had one break. I've never had to replace timing chains, belts, valves, nothing, unless it was something that I bought that way. But everything new that I've ever owned, everything used that I've ever owned, the way I take care of my stuff, and I, I beat on my four-wheeler, not the side-by-side. -side. My wife drives that. She, she, she's good with that. But kids beat on their go-kart. I got it souped up. Never. Knock on wood. Never had to replace any piston rings. I never had to replace any valves, valve seats, cams, rods. Nothing. Ever. Okay? So, believe me or don't believe me. All right? Like and subscribe. Don't forget to share. Comment. I want to hear comments. Nobody ever comments on my stuff. I mean, there's a couple people that have questions, but come on. I want to see. 
I want to see what you got to say about this one. I want to hear it from everybody. If you're one of them people that do that, let us know. Tell us about it. Tell me what your outcome is and how you think it affects engine. And even tell me how you think it affects fuel economy since some think that it gives you better uh, uh, miles per gallon. I don't know if it does or not. Maybe we'll test it because I get about 80 miles to a $20 bill on my truck. Now mind you, I do a lot of in-town driving between here and work and my truck idles in the morning to get warmed up and stuff. So maybe when I fuel up Monday, I'll put some in there, we'll reset the trip, and we'll see what I get. I'll also, I'll also put in regular gas, because that's usually what I put in. I don't put premium in it all the time. I only put premium in it when I'm hauling. So then we'll see what it does, all right? I'll look at my current trip to see what's on there now. I do the same driving every week. Nothing changes. All right. Thank you. Like and subscribe. Peace.